all and welcome to today's video. I am so happy. I'm going to be creating some looks for y'all using the new Nomad Whistler Snow Lounge palette. I cannot believe Nomad asked me if they could send me their palette. I'm so excited. Y'all know if you've been here a while, if you're new, you may not know, but if you've been here, you know. I love Nomad. I have bought so many palettes from them. Last year, I bought their Iceland palette, their Haunted Europe palette, their Pastel palette. Like, I have several palettes from Nomad that I've purchased and loved. And that Iceland palette was in my top 10 palettes of last year. So I was so excited when they were like, hey, can we send you our new palette? So I want to create some looks for y'all because bam, look at the inside. I mean, Nomad, they always kill it with the packaging. They always kill it. Like this is so cute. We've got the owl and the fox and the deer and the reindeer and the moose. Like this is so adorable. But then the color story inside, are you joking? I'm so excited. I'm going to create some looks. I'm going to swatch this. I'm going to give you a review of this palette at the end of the video. And if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here on my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, testing new palettes. We are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots and lots of new videos, at least five videos a week. I think last week I had six videos. But anyways, if you're looking for fun makeup content, this is the place to be. I want to play with this palette though, so let's jump into it. Okay y'all, let me tell you quickly, just I already said I'm loving the packaging of this. I think it's so, so cute. You do get a full mirror inside this palette, which I really like. The pans are very special. I will show you a close-up of this palette so that you can see it's imprinted with lots of different things that go with the theme. We've got the deer, we've got the skis, we've got Snow Bunny, we've got the Nomad logo, we've got like a bear with snow goggles, we've got, what is this, like a ski lift? I don't know, I don't do the cold. We've got like so many cool imprints. I don't, I don't know the cold, I don't like the cold, but I like cold themed things, so I'm into this. It also came with this cute little do not disturb, for Fox sake, I'm sleeping. How adorable is that? It came with a postcard. So cute. Like, I'm so excited. And the box, everything about this, freaking adorable. I will have the Nomad site listed down below. At the time that I'm filming this, I don't know launch details completely, so I'll put that down in the description box. In the description box, I'll have everything I can. This palette, though, like, these colors... So beautiful. Did I show y'all swatches that? Let me <laughs> insert swatches for y'all so y'all can see how these shades swatched out. I have to tell you, I am so impressed with Nomad, how their shadows perform. I will give you a full review at the end of this video, like what I think of every single shade once I've tried all the shades. I will be filming looks with this and I'll also be playing with it when I'm not filming, like when I'm going to work, things like that so that I can get a good feel and get my thoughts completely on this palette. But look at me, I got my makeup done, but I need some eyeshadow on. I want to play with this. I'm thinking I just want to do something that I really like. I want to go light to dark. We're going to do it. Let me prime my eyes, zoom y'all in, and we'll create. Okay, my eyes are primed with my MAC Paint Pot. And I really like the way this palette is laid out. I feel like if you're not sure what to do, you can go by rows or columns and you can create something really, really easy and pretty. Even with this that's all shimmers, like in our corner, all over the lid, right out here in the outer corner or under the lower lash line, it would be so simple and pretty. It would be an all shimmer three shadow look that would be gorgeous, but I'm going to kind of dip and mix around because I feel like Nomad did a great job too of like quads. 
you can stick to quads. The layout of this palette I think is just really well thought out. You can go with a row crib look or go with a column like I said. So what I'm going to do in this video is kind of jump around and just pick shades all over so that maybe if you have this palette or maybe if you're shopping your sash and you just want some inspiration with looks and color pairings maybe I can help you with that but I want to stay like kind of in these blues right in here I want to do something something blue okay so I'm gonna go first into snow bunny and this is adorable because it's a bunny face like he has little bunny whiskers and he's wearing snow goggles. I'm picking this up on a Lunar Beauty brush and what I'm going to do is kind of a two-toned crease. So I have deep set eyes. I want to blend my shadows up above my crease so that when my eyes are open the shadow doesn't get lost right here. It goes open. Just remember what if you have an eye shape that you feel like doesn't allow you to play with color just Change, change your shape up. Put your color where you want to go. I mean, I can't make my eyes not deep set, but I can put the color up here so that even when my eyes are open, you can see that blue. I like the undertone of this. This is very pigmented, but very blendable. I love all shades of shadow. All shades of shadow. <laughs> And this is beautiful though, like it's a very pigmented, so it's showing up super well. And I'm just going to blend that to about right here. Okay, next I'm going to take this What's Up Beauty Art 102 and I want to go into Snowmad. I think the imprint on this is so cute and I really, really, really want to use this blue. It's been calling to me. I want to see how pigmented and blendable it is. What I'm doing is I'm going right here where I want the color to be deepest is out here in this outer corner and then I'm just slowly blending out from there. But I'm going to concentrate the color first and then I can buff and blend once I have it where I want it. So this is not blended. I'm going to have to go back and blend but I just want to get the shape mapped out before I do anything else. That way I can kind of see what's going on. Like I want the shape there, I want the pigment down, and then I can buff and blend. Okay, I want to put this shade right here oh, all over my lid. That's what I want to do. I want it to be impactful. It's like this blue shade that has this pink purpley shift. I want to put it all over the lid and I want it to be like wham knock you in the face type of pretty. So I'm going to take a little of my NYX glitter primer and I'm going to put that all down on the lid as a base. I'm just going to tap this all over my lid and then I'm going to go in with my What's Up Beauty R106. I'm going to dip into that ski bum shade and I'm going to pat that on just like this. Oh, I love how I can see like the pink purple tone to it where the light is hitting. That is so pretty. The shift in the shade is so pretty. I love how it's this blue color with the pink purple sparkle to it. It's just that's really, really beautiful. It looks like I have two different shadows making up this color on the lid. Okay, I'm going to go back just a bit and kind of deepen up the outer corner. I'm actually going to tap in a little bit into the black. The black shade right down here called Ski Out has the Nomad logo printed. And I'm going to put that right here, like right at the base of the lash line and a little flick up. And it's just going to give us a little more depth right out there. Just to make that super dark. Slightly swirling it in. Then I'm going to take this Game Beauty brush. This is the E04. 
And I want to go in to back comb. Is that what that says? Back black comb. I was like back comb, like you back comb your hair, but it's black comb. And this is a mountain range. That's what this imprint is. It's a mountain range. I'm taking this on my little Game Beauty brush. I really like these small detailed Game Beauty brushes. This shade is a very sparkly. And I kind of want a little bit of sparkle down here on the lower lash line. So I'm just going to blend like this. Next I'm going to take this little Nabla brush and I'm going to go into Ski In. I actually want to highlight my nose with this. I love a good nose highlight. <laughs> Where's my sponge? Press that in. There we go. And then I'm going to also highlight the inner corner with this shade. Just like that. Very, very pretty shade. Tap it in right in here. And since I put that black in the outer corner to deepen up, I want to put some black really close to the lower lash line. So I love this tiny little EO5 from Game Beauty for doing like shadow as liner. I'm going to push that right into the lower lash line. So I'm getting very close into that lower lash line. I'm not bringing this down low like I did that blue shimmer shade. I'm going to keep it up close just like that. And then I'm going to finish off the look with some liner and lashes and I will be back. We can see how everything's coming together. Okay y'all, this is my finished look. I am so, so into it. I think these shadows are beautiful. The shadows I use, the dark blue, the black, that light blue, the shimmer, the metallic, I'm into it. I think this look is so beautiful. I feel beautiful. Sorry, my lash is still drying, so I'm trying to like make sure I push it up. I will link all the makeup that's on my face down below because I'm wearing Iconic Light Lashes, ColourPop Sounds Great Blush, Pat McGrath, Suburbia, Divine Rose, and I really like this look. I really like this look. I like the way the shadows performed. I like the way the shadows are looking. And yeah, this is look number one. I'm feeling myself. Obviously, I'm really feeling it. But yeah, this is it. Let's jump into the next one. Okay, to start off this look, I have my eyes primed with my MAC Paint Pot. And I am very excited to use this. Look how pretty this is. Okay, I think y'all may have already seen a look. I don't know. For me, I just got this in the mail and I'm ready to play with it. But through the power of editing, things are a little backwards, right? So I want to go in. I've got my Sigma E28 brush and I really want to go into For Fox Sake. That's the cutest name and I'm just going to... Put my little brush in there and make sure I have a good amount picked up. I'm going to tap off any excess on my brush and I want to kind of press this into the crease at first and then I'm going to go back and blend. So making sure I don't have any creases in my eye primer, I'm just pressing this shade in and then I'm going to pick up just a tiny bit more and I'm going to buff this shade in back and forth like this. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of NYX glitter primer on my lid just for like that extra punch. And I want to go in with this shade right here. This is called Up to Snow Good. So that first shade had the imprint of a fox on it. And now this shade has the imprint of skis, which is so cute. Okay, this is a Sigma brush that was a part of the Cinderella collection. I'm just picking this up and pressing it on top of that glitter primer and then I'm going to go back and blend in a minute. What I like to do with my looks is kind of put the colors down where I want them and then I can go back and blend afterwards but I kind of like to get like the general idea going. Okay, I've got my pencil brush from Sigma and I want to go into this deep brown shade down here. 
This is called Gone Skiing. And I'm going to put this right up against the lower lash line. This is really pretty. Very pigmented. I'm going to bring this down a bit low because I want you to be able to see it even once I have my mascara in a line. Okay, then I'm going to grab this E45 from Sigma and I want to go into Powder Specialist, this kind of white to pink shade and I'm going to put that right there on the inner corner wrapping it around like that so this is a super easy eye look I mean I just used four shades and it did not take me very long at all like if I were not filming I could do this in probably three or four minutes um, because it's just so simple let me actually take this and run this down my nose as kind of a nose highlight too yeah, that's really, really pretty. Okay, I'm going to put on eyeliner, <laughs> mascara. Actually, I need to put on blush. Like, I need to finish up the rest of my makeup, and then I will be back. We'll see how everything's coming together. All right, y'all, this is my finished look. I just used some of my favorite mascara, my Melt Supernatural Lash Mascara. I put on my Pat McGrath Bridgerton blush palette to give myself a little blush look. I have on Melt Cashmere Perfectionist Lip Pencil. And then over top, I have Fenty Fussy Gloss. I will link below foundation, concealers, powder, bronzer. I'll link all of that down below for y'all. But I would love to know what you think of this look. Again, this is very, very easy. I feel like even if you're somebody who doesn't love color or maybe you want to dip your toes into wearing color, this is a great way to do that with these kind of warm, rustic-y red tones. I'm feeling great in this look. I would love to know what you think. I'm into it. But let's, let's move on. Okay, let's get started on look number three. I want to do something green and gold. I, this, this side of the palette is calling to me. I just think this gold shade, this yellow gold, really is going to look beautiful with these green shades. But then I kind of want to put this all over the lid. I don't know. Let's see where the look takes us. I'm going to prime once again with my MAC Paint Pot. Okay, I'm going to take this Morphe 433 and I'm going to go right into Apres Ski. It's got the cute little ski print embossing and I'm going to just put this all in the socket just like this. That shade is super pigmented, super blendable, really, really beautiful. Just going to do the same thing over here. You can see it just goes on really easily. Like it's pigmented right out the gate and I'm swirling it on like this. I'm now going to take this BH Peridot brush and I want to go into Bucking Great. How cute is that? So in this palette it's so cute because the animals are wearing like ski goggles or snow goggles i don't know what you would call them but this one is a deer with the goggles on which is so adorable i'm just deepening up the outer corner and then i like to swirl my outer corner shade a little bit out and under the lower lash line just swirling that out like that this shade is really pigmented and it's not getting patchy or anything like that. It is opaque and pretty. I'm not having any issues blending or getting it to look how I want it to. I'm going to pick up the brush that I used first with that lighter green shade. And I'm just going to kind of buff and blend. Make sure I don't have any harsh lines. But I can go back and blend some more in a minute too. I've put down a tiny bit of my NYX Glitter Primer and I'm going in with the shade 
very cool that is that yellow gold shade that has the bear imprint. I just think this yellow is going to contrast so well against the green and it does like it's looking so pretty and this is definitely a very very sparkly shade. This is a Real Techniques brush. The name has rubbed off of it but it came in a set years ago. I'm just buffing that on. Oh I love the way these two shades like not two shades, these three shades work together. Okay, now I'm going to take this little BK Beauty 207 and I want to go into Gone Skiing. I also think this would be pretty, like, just all in the crease with that bronze so a mousse shade all over the lid. That could be a really beautiful neutral look. But I'm just going to put this right along the lower lash line. I'm going to buff and blend. Okay, I want to add a touch of this green shimmer. So I'm going to take this on this tiny little Morphe brush. I am going to spray my brush, just whatever makeup mist is fine. I'm going to put this right here where the yellow gold fades into the dark green matte just as a little transition so i'll have these two shimmer shades on the lid i'm gonna highlight the inner corner with this beautiful shade right up here called ski in and then i'm gonna see if i need to blend at all anymore i'm going to wipe away any fallout put on some eyeliner and then I will be back. We'll see how the final look came together and I'll give you my review of this palette. All right, this is my finished look. I am wearing Kaylina from Unearthly Cosmetics on my lips. This is like my favorite brown lipstick. I love it. I am wearing for blush the shade Cherish. Mine is in the Pat McGrath Bridgerton palette and then Pat McGrath Bridgerton highlight in the shade 002. That is the highlight that I have on in case you are curious. I will list the makeup details like the other stuff I'm wearing down in the description box in case you are curious. Now this palette is launching on Tuesday and it's $39 for 15 shades. I have worn this palette about five times now. I've used every single shade in the palette and I have to say they're all amazing. What stands out to me honestly like the standout shades are the dark mattes this black, this blue, this dark green, this dark brown, they are so high quality. They are pigmented, they are not patchy, they are blendable, buildable, everything that I love in a dark matte, these mattes are and I love it. I love that we have this pink to white duochrome. We have this blue shimmer shade that has a pink purple shift and shimmer to it. This yellow gold like you can see it is just intensely shimmery i love that every single shade in here is beautiful i've worn this shade as a face highlight this shade as a face highlight beautiful the mid-tones in here like the mid-tone mattes also beautiful i love the packaging i i'm so happy with this palette so if you wanted to know my review is it good what do i think of it absolutely amazing if Nomad did not send me this palette, I would have purchased this myself because one, I know I love Nomad's formula and two, this color story, I'm super duper into it. I'm very much into it. I would love to know, what did you think of these looks? Did you like the looks? Would you be curious to like try any out? Were you just here for entertainment? Are you going to shop your stash? Definitely let me know. Uh, I didn't mention this shade earlier, but this does have a sparkly to like a sparkly I, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's like a beautiful blue shimmery shade, but it also has like a purple 
type sparkle to it. Does that make sense? I hope so. It's definitely beautiful. I hope you enjoyed all the looks. I hope you enjoyed the swatches. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already subscribed. Share this video with your friends, family, social media, anybody who you think would enjoy my content. It helps me out a ton when y'all share my videos. I have lots of content coming this week. I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!